Hello people, this is Self Tarts and we are continuing our series on understanding the concept of express and in this video we will see how to send resource parameters in your express HTTP request. So in the last video we have seen how to send parameters inside query. In this video we will see the resource parameter. Basically you can send data in your HTTP request in multiple ways like you can send it inside your body, you can send it inside your headers, you can send it inside your query parameter or you can send it inside your resource parameter. So how to send it inside a resource? So suppose uh, you must be wondering that I am frequently using the term resource, endpoint or route. So resource says that this is the URI that I am trying to hit. So the resource, if, if you read the resource, then it itself says that what I am trying to access. So what I am trying to access, I am trying to access a user with a name of Jack. So I can access another user. So the name of the user can be John. So you can see here user name and then John. So you can see this parameter, the third one is a variable. So how to put variable parameter inside your express HTTP request and to access it. So express provides us a very easy way and we need to just provide a colon and then the key through which we want to reference that variable. So if you want to uh, put the third parameter of this resource as variable then you need to provide colon and then username. So if you want to provide multiple resource parameters then what you need to do you need to provide multiple values with colon. So here two things are there that is username and then user age. So these two things are variable in your resource parameter. Now how to access it? So it is very simple to uh, access it inside your express HTTP request and you can access it using request.params. So we'll go to our Linux box and we'll check how to do this. So I'm inside my Linux box and I'm using this express app during this, my, uh, during this course and you can see there are these files which we have seen previously and we need to open our Vim. If you are wondering how my Vim works so much good then you can visit my course on Vim also which is present on my YouTube channel. Then now so coming back to the resource parameter we will open app.js and this is the code that we have written in our last video. So what we will do we will delete these two lines and then we will try to access our we will create a variable that is resource params and then we'll say request dot params so we'll we'll get the resource parameter here and what we'll do we'll try to uh, response and thus send it to resource parameter now this request dot parameters will not come if you're trying to send anything inside it you need to make your route in that way in that way so what we'll do we'll say user with a name and then we need to type user name so if you have not provided this uh, or if you have not registered your route in express app in this manner then the request.params will not be uh, present there and what express will say that this endpoint doesn't exist that you are trying to access and it will give you a 404 that is not found error so you you need to provide your express uh, route in this way and then only you can access the request parameters. So you need to provide this variable with a colon and then you can access this inside your request.param. So all this uh, variables will come inside that param and you can check it for that particular one as request.params.username. So we'll save this file and what we'll do we'll go to our next window and we'll start our web server. So you need to check your IP address for the uh, box or the machine that you are hitting so I am using a Linux box so I can access my IP just by typing if config and you can see my IP is 172.18.0.100 I'll clear it I'll start my node app.js this will successfully start my server now I'm using postman and postman is a HTTP client tool which we use to send our request this was the last request that we have sent so I'll modify the request and I'll say user and then name and then I'll say John. Again, I'll try to send it and you can say I got the value as username as the key and the value as the John. So you can see that my variable name was username and I'm sending the full parameter inside this 
request dot param is getting uh, put inside resource param and that I'm sending. So if I want to console dot log the parameter only, so I'll say request dot params and then dot user name. So this will be console log. I'll save the file. This will be console log inside my server only. So I'll restart my server and after that I'll again go to my postman and I'll hit it. So this time I'll get the same username here John. But if I go to my server then here you can see the John has been printed here. So now I'll try to send another request param and that will be I need to register that uh, resource param by typing age and then I'll need to say a colon sign you need you need not to forget the colon sign and then I'll say user age. So this time I'll delete this line I'll just send all the parameters that are coming so this time what will happen it will send me two parameter user age and user name. So what I'll do I'll see control C I'll restart the app and then I'll go to my postman and then I'll say age and then I'll give the value of 25 and then I'll send it so it will give me username and user age. So you can see how easy it is to make your beautiful routes or endpoint in express and how to access the data. So after accessing the data you can provide some business logic that you need to find this user with this age inside your database and return the value. So this was all about how to access resource parameter, how to send resource parameter in your express HTTP request. So if you like my channel, please subscribe to it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Thank you.